Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Dear ones. I am Archangel Michael. Before starting and continuing our lesson today, a little reflection needs to be made here. I'm not saying everything I'm saying to you, so that you feel like you're horrible beings, evil beings, beings that caused everything your world has today. In today's class you will understand, yes, you participated in the process, but you were not the ones who caused the process. So, we can say that you turned your back and preferred not to get involved in what was happening, they preferred to ignore the incoming danger, you preferred to think that all the good feelings you had, within your souls, were enough to keep the planet in balance. You didn't realize the size of the danger that was coming. So don't blame yourself, thinking that all this mess that is happening today was caused by you. No, because it wasn't. Today I'm going to go a little deeper into how this process actually began. I just tell you, you erred by omission, due to overconfidence that things would no longer go wrong, that you managed to maintain balance, and the planet would no longer suffer. So don't blame yourself. Don't think you are horrible beings who caused all this. Well, back then, the continuation of our class from yesterday. As I said, going back to a certain point, where I was yesterday, you, inhabitants of other galaxies, came here, started to populate the planet and everything was going well. Everything was in balance. So now I'm going to talk about another aspect. Before returning to the point where those beings, those, arrived here. There are some stories written in your books about the fallen angels. Many have asked me these questions and I still haven't answered them. Then the moment has come. Think about this, that a lot of what was passed on to you had to be represented, at that moment, in a way that you understood, in a way that was possible for their minds to understand. I'm going to ask you a question, if a few thousand years ago, someone simply arrived here on your planet from outside, and started telling you a series of things, what would you understand? Would you believe it? Would you believe that you are souls from outside, and that those who really populated this planet were not those souls who were born here, that those who started the whole process were not the souls of Earth? Would you believe that? So, a lot of things that exist in books, in stories from ancient times, were explained in a way that you could understand. Some with more open minds always contested some stories, but it was what could be passed on to you, because otherwise you wouldn't understand. So back to the subject of fallen angels. Many believe that all races descend from angels. So I'm going to start this topic by talking a little about what angels are. Let's say that there is a, since you like images so much, there is a big staircase, in which at some points on this staircase, there are some stops, it's like a big building full of floors. The beings of light that were created by our father or mother God, as I already said, have some functions. No, one being cannot perform the function of another, it can, but each one is responsible for it. So it is as if God had created the highest beings, and was creating with each step down, not beings with less light, that's not it, beings increasingly closer to beings in the universe. So let's say this, that beings of high light, I'll give my example, I'm at the highest level. You feel my energy. Today I am here speaking through this physical body, but I am not a body, I am pure energy. I do not move among you, first, because of my size, what comes to you is, how can I say it, it's as if you received little pieces of me. Each of you who resonates with my energy receives a little piece. And you have me there by your side. But this little piece is connected to my whole. So this is how I am next to each of you at the same time, anywhere in the universe. The other floors of this great building, of this staircase, as the floors get closer to the ground, let's say, the beings they are on become more prepared to be closer to you. Not as far away as me. So. It's as if they were, it's as if the beings were decreasing in size, not diminishing in light, nor diminishing in power. They are decreasing in size. Very good. So where do the angels come in on this scale of this building? 
The angels are the ones on the lowest floor. They are not loose in the universe, and you feel the pieces of them. No, they are unique structures, that when they are by your side, they are by your side, they don't subdivide like I do, let's put it that way. They are there, literally by your side, and then we will talk about guardian angels, let's talk about the great angels who protect the elementals, the great angels who protect the planets, and so on. So angels are the closest beings to you. This has been said for a long time. They are not bodies. They are energy, exactly the same as all other beings of light. They disguise themselves as a physical body, to often move among you, and appear to you. Someday, someone said, that they saw an angel and that he had wings. And so this perception was created that we all have wings. We think this is beautiful, because who has wings? They are birds, which are free, they fly, they can be everywhere, they are not tied to anything, just their own customs. Very good. So I can say that none of you, that no soul descends from angels. Angels are direct energies of our father or mother God. They are not created souls like you. So no one descends from angels. Then we return to the story of the fallen angels. Imagine, thousands and thousands of years ago, seeing a being floating in space. What would you think it would be? In your conception, he was an angel. Very good. So, many evolved beings can float in space, because they manipulate gravity in such a way that they can move practically flying. Not all, but some have this property in their being. So, those beings that could fly, they could move through space, they were called angels, based on the understanding that existed at the time. And these beings, I will remind you that I am talking about beings who were banished from their planets precisely because they resonate with feelings that are not suitable for that dimension. Here comes the story of the fallen angels, who were the ones who broke away from the source. This is what is propagated in his books and in his stories. They broke away from the source and were trapped here on the planet. So let's go back a little to our previous classes. No one breaks with the source. I already told you this, everyone has the divine spark. The divine spark only goes out when the soul dies, when that energy is dissipated. So there is no breaking with the source. There is a choice that is to resonate differently from the feeling of the source. Yes, because the source is pure love, but if these beings decide to echo evil, violence, aggression, hatred, yes they break with the feeling of the source, not with the source. And they are not angels and they did not fall here on earth because they were punished. They fell here, no, no, they didn't. They came here with the total purpose of dominating the planet. So I hope with my explanation, I have put to rest a lot of things that you have already read. And here is the truth, no being, from any astro, from any planet, descends from the angels. Souls are souls, angels are angels. So before anyone asks me, there are reports of angels in the physical body. Yes, they can do that, if they want, to really help you at a certain moment, they disguise themselves as a physical body and start to act with this outfit that you have, such as their strength and energy. So don't underestimate them. They are powerful beings. I may even one day talk about the guardian angels, the guardian angels. This is an interesting subject. I'll leave it noted here, in my notes, to talk about this later. Of course I don't have notes. Just a little lightness in my words. Continuing. Then those beings arrived here on the planet. They realized that here was what they needed to take to their planets. What do you mean, they had planets? Yes, they had already dominated several planets, which they said were theirs. They simply took over the planets. There now yes. In everything there is a commander. In any action, there must be a commander who organizes, who plans, who assembles his troops, his armies. There has to be a commander. He is known to you by many names, they all represent one, Lucifer, Satan, Devil, no matter what name he has. He is the general of this entire process. Ah, 
does he have the same rank as you? Now my brothers, there is no comparison. Just look at this, he is a being, he is a soul. I have already told you that there is no conflict between good and evil in any being with the same size as our father or mother God. This doesn't exist. This was created to scare you. So this being, which is the supreme of them, never made himself appear, he never made himself seen, why? Because he had to maintain this aura, this reputation, of being immense, of being powerful, of doing whatever he wanted. So the legends started happening over time, and it became more and more powerful. And any and all evil that happened was attributed to him, which was still true. Continuing. Then they arrived here and, little by little, dominated their planet. Remember, there were many of them. They had already been on this path of domination for many thousands of years. So there wasn't much like, the beings that were already here, there wasn't much to do. At the beginning of this video, I said that you didn't believe they would be capable of everything they did. You could have destroyed them the first moment they arrived here, because they arrived to reconnoiter the planet, to recognize what was here for them. And they came with layers of kindness, masked with lots of love, lots of light, and you didn't notice. Many even noticed, but were not heard, because the energy they emanated, many were able to perceive. But they dressed very well. They brought more technology, they brought a lot of good things to the planet, to deceive those who were already here. This is very typical of those who manipulate the illusion. And that's what you live to this day, deluded by the promises that are made to you. And so it all began. They were, little by little, setting up their base here on the planet, were dominating those who were already here. They were excellent geneticists in mental manipulation. The implants, the chips were created, and everything began. Remember, I told you, a few videos ago, that the planet has the dimension in which all its beings resonate. So we will continue this topic a little more in the next classes. A lot happened during this period. A lot has been created. A lot of things were done against Gaia, and Gaia took some actions, let's say, to reverse all of this. Just realize that these beings have always been very smart. I told you that many of you came here from other planets, from other galaxies, to populate the planet. How did you come? Of course on ships. So the first step these beings took was to destroy the ships that were here on the planet, the ships that weren't theirs, so that no one else could get out of here, because if anyone managed to get out of here, they could ask for help could ask for help. Very good. So that was the first step, destroy every ship on the planet. Evolved beings had direct contact with the source. They were high vibrational beings. Like I said, it was all very sneaky. When they realized that they were being manipulated and destroyed, they sought help. Obviously, and a lot of help came. There was a lot of battle. But they were many. They had already practically dominated the planet. So let's understand the following, let this be very clear in all of your minds. No, our father or mother God has not turned his back on this planet. No, our father or mother God did not want to punish those who were here. As I have already said, many cannot even understand this, but I will repeat, everything is a consequence of your choices. You were on the planet, thinking the world was pink. You had come here and didn't realize how to protect where you were, they did not realize that they were actually creating a fifth dimensional territory, an evolved territory. The big mistake was that you thought you were too powerful. Again. Not that you did it wrong, like last time, but because of the power you knew you had, because there were no veils, all souls remembered exactly what they did, what they were. So you knew the power you had. Only instead of you using that power to protect the planet, to actually create a field around the planet, and protect it against any and all invaders, you always thought you could manage. Ah, anyone who gets here people are kicked out and told. And there is the result. So it's not that you were wrong to do evil, no, you did not do evil this time. 
you just accommodated yourself, thinking you were too powerful to be attacked, they thought they were too powerful to lose it all, they thought it was forever. And time has shown you to be wrong. The dominance of these beings was happening, the vibration of the planet was falling, because they only emanated evil, they only emanated hatred, the control. So then we can say that all this manipulation that you still have today began. But that will be for tomorrow's class. There is no guilt. Yes, there is a lesson that has not been fully learned. And once again it proves to you that wrong choices lead to wrong paths, wrong choices have very serious consequences. And to this day, the vast majority of you make wrong choices. This is repeated, as if you were a great machine, which leaves one point and returns to that point, and return to that point, and return to that point. That's why you don't evolve. They didn't evolve. That's another part of the story. So there is no blame. I repeat again, I don't want anyone here blaming themselves, thinking they are responsible for all of this. Ah, I'm responsible. No 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 no. It wasn't just one person who decided, there were many. So, I ask the following, how far was this all unforeseen? How far did all this really happen without our father or mother God knowing anything? To what extent this was done without the authorization of our father or mother God? Until where? I leave you with this thought. Tomorrow we continue. I am Archangel Michael. I'm here, loving to share this information with you, and I'm sure that a lot of things are closing in your minds.